President Award to our uh, President 22-23, Lisa Dekovich, by sharing the following. As many of us know, sharing inspirational thoughts and quotes has become a signature meeting tradition over the past year for President Lisa. In my research, I'm not sure if I have officially uncovered the quote that, is, that this quote is attributed to, as sources vary from John Quincy Adams to Dolly Parton. <laughs> Regardless, the quote of inspiration that I would like to share with you all tonight is this. If your actions inspire others to dream more, to learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. Lisa, over the past year, I am confident that your actions have inspired many of us in the Oxford Rotary Club to dream big and to envision the future of Rotary here in Oxford as a place where members are valued, where members are cared for, and they make an impact on our community. Your actions have inspired us to learn more about ourselves, about our club, our community, Rotary, and beyond. Lisa, your actions and leadership by example have inspired us to do more and to become more as Rotarians seeking to make our club better and our community better. A better community in which to live, to work, to learn, to play, and enjoy. Thank you, not just for being a fantastic president to this club over the past year, but for providing an example of leadership for me and for every Rotarian in Oxford. Thank you for being a friend, a sounding board, and most importantly, an example for what it means to live out the Rotary motto, service above self, and the Rotary brand, people of action. I will always remember fondly the Saturday before Memorial Day when I wrapped up installing flags with Michael McNeil early and I swung past the warehouse just to say goodbye and check in for a moment. And somewhere in that 30 seconds, either I offered or Lisa asked, hey, would you like to join me for a few new flag installations that have come in through late subscriptions? Not knowing the process, I agreed. And for the next four to five hours, we worked together side by side, installing new flags, meeting community members, sharing with more with them more about Rotary and the impact of the Oxford Community Stars and Stripes program that it has on our community. It was hard work, Lisa. It was good work. And being able to work beside you, with you, and in support of you that day and over the last year has truly been the most to date Rotary experience. <laughs> Thank you for living out service above self, not only with your inspirational words, but with your inspirational actions. With that, I would like Lisa to come forth and receive her plaque. So, box goes to Lisa and invoice goes to Jack. All right, great. <laughs> Sorry, oh, Sorry, Sorry, <laughs> So, at this time, um, I would like to ask the, uh, the incoming 23-24 Executive Cabinet and uh, Avenues of Service uh, Club Directors to come forth to be installed. I'd ask that if you would just go ahead and kind of line up here, that would be wonderful. And we'll go ahead and get this done. Bill Schilling, go ahead and stay right where you are. Very good. <laughs> in the administration of the Rotary Club of Oxford, Ohio. This is an indication of your club's esteem and confidence in all of you. They believe in you. I believe in you. They believe that you will uphold the high traditions of our club, that you will give the best of your executive abilities to the furtherance of the interests of our club and carrying forward, forward the object of Rotary. If you agree to fulfill the responsibilities of your office to the best of your ability, then I will ask that you raise your right hand 
and repeat after me. I'm going to go ahead and ask that we, I state your name, and we'll just go down the, <laughs> down the road there, okay? So, Corey, if you don't say Corey, walk. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I state your name. I state your name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Nobody else gets to do that joke, okay? <laughs> Craig Hunter. Dan Hall. Jack Sutter. Ed Solomon. Bob Thurston. Lisa Day. Corey Watt. Bob Biggs. Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> Do solemnly pledge. Do solemnly pledge. pledge. That I will fulfill the duties of my office. My office. That I will fulfill the duties of my office. In the Rotary Club of Oxford, Ohio. In the Rotary Club of Oxford, Ohio. To the best of my ability. To the best, best of my ability. ability. That I will support the club's president. I will support the club's president. And I will abide by our club's constitution and bylaws. And I will abide by the club's constitution and bylaws. Very good. At this moment, I would like you to just stay right where you are. And I would like to ask that if your, if your uh, 